Calicon's Awakening cards. Okay. We can start with this Grand Lackey card. Should I zoom in a little bit? Grand Lackey Urk. We saw this one before, right? This card's like a like it's a bit like uh, the shark. It's a bit too slow, right? Can I make them bigger still? Is this good? I can't really get them much bigger. It's a bit awkward. We don't think this one's great, but it's the, the Chaos Gazer. Corrupt a playable card in your opponent's hand. They have one turn to play it. So normally if you corrupt a playable card, it's just the, the card they're going to play next turn a lot of the time. You could corrupt a situational card like Zephyrys or something. I'll click it. Okay, there we go. You could corrupt a playable card or something. But it's most likely just... You might use it very situational to counter combo decks like Holy Wrath Paladin, where you can, where you can corrupt, say, Baleful Banker. But other than that, I don't think it has too much application. Not very good. Boom Squad, discover a lackey, mech, or dragon. So how does this work? I presume you discover twice. You discover first a lackey, mech, or dragon, then you discover again. So it'll be two discovers. Okay. Well, discover a lackey for one mana is already a card in Warlock, that's pretty decent. This card is just good, right? It's so flexible. It might be discover uh, there's just one lackey option, one mech option, and one dragon option, in which case it's a bit worse. A lot worse. So it's probably not a very good card. Next. Frenzied Felwing. Oh, we've seen this. Four mana costs one less for each damage dealt to your opponent this turn. So in aggro deck, say if they flame upon one, you can push three. Like, you don't actually deal that much damage in the early game with a lot of decks, but like in like Warrior, for instance, right now, you deal three just with the uh, Invoke as well. So this card can be very cheap very fast. This card seems pretty strong in, in some aggro decks, right? This is Dread Corsair with the True Silver Champion. Yeah. Doing four damage. You can build your deck to deal four damage. In Face Hunter, it can cost like nothing. By turn three. It's a demon, which means it dies to Sack Pact, if that's a thing. Which is a little worry of the card. We'll see, we'll see. It has potential. Boom Pistol Bully. Battlecry, enemy Battlecry cards cost five more next turn. Now, this card. This is the card that might change the whole meta. This. Oh. Enemy Battlecry costs five more next turn. This is a insane card against Rogue. Every Rogue card has Battlecry. It just stops their turn, basically. They have to play spells. Maybe this might make more spells come to the mail or something, but you can just jam this in any deck right now. And the funny thing is, if your opponent plays their one first, like it's a bit like a bit weird because you can't play your one, right? But you can, unless you're playing like Face Hunter, you don't want to play it. But I jam in other decks just to try and stall their turn. Like, you know they're gonna play Galakrond on seven, right? They're fully invoked. You just jam this; they can't play Galakrond, right? It might be their only play. Togwagger that stops that too. The only issue is if you're already behind on board and then they can just play a spell, then it's not great. Like, say you go and queue into Rogue. That you're behind on board, you play it, they just go seal fate or so, or, and dagger or something, and then you really haven't done anything. Is about the t If you can play a good deck already, and then the time this card well, then it does look pretty strong. Next up, Risky Skipper. 1 mana 1 3. After you play a minion, deal 1 damage to all minions. So this has synergy with cards like Acolyte of Pain. Maybe Armor Smith. Sometimes, like, it's really good with the Reborn 1 2, which becomes a 3 1, because that's much better as a 3 1 Reborn. Like, it works well with a lot of cards. If you can, if you build your deck around getting damage, it's strong, but still, it's just a 1 3. So, drawing a 1 3 later on, we know from Crystallizer, is quite bad. So, I don't think. 
I don't think it's going to be that strong, but it, it's definitely has potential. You can build. I mean, it'll come up with Falling Berserker, yeah. So I'm not sure. But I don't think it's going to be amazing or anything, but it does work with a lot of stuff. Chop Shop Copter. Okay. After a friendly mech dies, add a random mech to your hand. 3 mana, 2, 4. I mean, you probably play this in Mech Hunter, but it's not a good card. You don't really need resource, you need tempo with mech decks. So I can't imagine it's very good. I'm just going to speed past this one. Waxman C. Wait, Waxman? Wait, 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 wait. Waxman C. Uh, probably mispronouncing it. Discover a battlecraft minion, reduce its cost by 2 for 2 mana. So it's basically like zero mana discoverer a minion with battle cry. There's a lot of bad battle cry cards that you don't know about in the game. This is a card you might pick off a theory or lackey, but I don't think you'll play it in your deck. Basically, like there's a lot of just bad battle cry minions that you don't want. And then you could do some swing turns with a reduced cost battle cry minion, but you can only do enough good swing turns with rogue. I don't think it makes any sense in the current rogue decks. The Fist of Ra, then. After you cast a spell, summon the legendary minion of that cast, lose one durability. Four mana, one four, weapon. So this is a bit like uh, Skull of the Minari. You play it, and the next turn you cast a spell, like Haggard's Scheme, for instance, on turn five, is the most obvious card. And then, boom, you've killed their board, and you summon the five mana legendary. So, if there isn't much weapon move on the metagame, I mean... If you can play expensive, expensive like six mana Reign of Toads plus a six mana Legendary, I know this is like, this is like a, this is a bit like Skull of the Minari. It, it, it seems potentially very powerful. I think this card. I don't know what it fits in right now in the in in the game, but it's definitely a very good card. Four charges, it's so much value. Like, Big Shaman? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if it, it might not fit in the deck right now. But yeah. Next up, Rising Winds. Twin Spell, choose one, draw a card, or summon a 3-2 Eagle. Okay. So, after you've done the quest in Druid, it draws a card and summons the Eagle, which is really nice. Um... Twin spell effect, like it's not great in not the quest deck basically, it's pretty bad. But in the quest deck it seems decent, although a 3-2 on 3 mana leg like, isn't really good. So it's not like it gets you tempo in the before the quest. But like post quest, it's like definitely very strong. Uh next up, Hailbringer. Battle cry, summon two one one ice shards that freeze. 5 mana 3 4 that summons 2 on 1 ice shards that freeze. So they're, they're like water elementals, the 1 1s basically. So for 5 mana, you get a 3 4 and a 2 2. So it's like a 5 mana 5 6, but over multiple bodies. Freezing opponents' minions can be super annoying. In the lackey metagame, it's not going to be very good, but when the lackeys rotate out, this card could be really annoying. But I can't see it working right now very well, because lots of 1 1s around and the rogue has dagger and stuff, right? Next up, Arcane Amplifier. Oh, it's gone the same time as Mackey's. Yeah, it probably doesn't see much play then. Arcane Amplifier. Your hero power deals 2 extra damage next turn. 3 mana 2. Oh no, it just always does 2 extra damage. 3 mana 2, 5 elemental. So this could be played on turn 1 with evocation, then you can hero power, like, it's powerful. Could, I think it will have a slot in Reno Mage, right? You can play this on turn 5 as a 3 mana 2, 5, and then you deal 3 with your hero power. It's quite a flexible card, right? Cole could activate Yanalai in a deck, yeah. Yanalai, yeah, the 4-4 or something's rag. So this seems, yeah, this seems pretty decent. Plays in a lot of mage decks, yep. Next up is Bomb Wrangler. Do you want a 2-3? Whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 1-1 Boombot. So say you kill this minion with Seal of Fate. 
it summons a boom bot, and the boom bot deals two and a half damage on average, right? So like, three mana two three that at worst summons a boom bot. That seems that seems really strong, right? At best, this can summon like three boom bots, and that's insane. Like three boom bots would be bonkers. You can. We just saw previous warrior cards that like the one three that damages a mini when it comes into play. Instant boom bot there. You can inner rage it to summon a boom bot as well. If your opponent doesn't kill it, then it's a big issue for them. Uh, you play in Gallop Warrior, you, you coin this out on turn 3, your opponent doesn't kill it, Inner Rage, Bloodstone, Mercenary, and it's like, how well do you ever answer, sort of thing. I guess Inner Rage, Bloodstone works on anything, right? But this card seems quite powerful. Boombots are very strong cards. Next up, Twisted Knowledge, 2 mana, discover 2 Warlock cards, Giga Trash, skip. 10 mana, Eye of the Storm, summon 3 5 6 elementals with Taunt, Overload 3. Yeah, so <laughs> compared to Dragon's Pack, Monk could think. This works with the new weapon. But apart from that, the card's pretty useless. Maybe you get off Haunting Visions. I don't really see much purpose to this. Maybe King Fioris works with this card, if that's a deck. But I don't think you ever play this in your deck. It's just way too expensive for what it does. You might randomly generate it, though. And it could be a, uh, definitely be a pick of some matchups off random generation, right? It also gets flicked, that's an issue, yeah. Next up we have Air Raid. Summon two 1-1 one -one Silver Hand Recruits with Taunt. Okay. So... That means you can get four 1-1s one for four mana with Taunt. Like, this card... We saw previously, like, uh, 5 mana summon 5 one ones, and that ended up being quite good, because there were ends up being cards that buffed one ones. There isn't currently any Silver Hand Recruit buff cards in Standard, really. There's the 3 mana 2-4 horse, right? I think. But that's about it. If there was more buff cards for Silver Hand Recruits, this card could be very powerful, but right now, it's not great. It just, it just isn't helping out um, Paladin too much. But yeah, this works as side quest. It works with a lot of cards. The card's good, but it just it's not like it's gonna make an archetype, I don't think. It goes into an archetype. Oh the horse is wild here, yeah, there's nothing to do with some hand recruits, I guess. Oh that's all of them. Any more cards on this website? That's all the cards. Ahiran has the rest of the cards. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing all the new cards, yes. Okay, we can continue discussing cards. Rotness Drake. Battle cry, if you're holding a dragon, destroy a random enemy minion. Oh, you're linking me one in chat with all the cards? Okay. Will this load? Oh, we haven't spoke about escaped mana, mana, <laughs> mana saber. Okay, we can talk about this one. Let me zoom in again. We'll talk about all the cards like this. Na, na, na. Escape Mana Saber, 4 mana, 3, 5 stealth, when this minion attacks, gain 1 mana crystal this turn only. So it's like you gain a coin, 4 mana, 3, 5 stealth, well, that's a card in the game, half time scavenger, it doesn't see any play. Maybe if you need to, if you can curve into 6 mana for some reason that you really want to, it's a neutral coin. So if there's a really strong 6 mana play, as some deck can do, maybe you want this. But other than that, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. But like... Like, lots of decks, lots of classes just can't cheat mana at all, but like, this allows you to do it, get a coin, so it could work in a deck. Shot bot, 2 mana 2 to reborn. So, anyone who played with Shield and Mini Bot, this is basically Shield and Mini Bot. It's a very, Shield and Mini Bot is a very good card. This is a very good reborn card. It's very annoying to deal with. It's a mech as well, so it goes straight into mech paladin. Probably goes into like most paladin decks. If there are any, but currently there isn't a Paladin deck and there's more support right now. But this card's very good. 
Um, yeah, next up, Scale Lord. 5 mana, 5 6 dragon. Battlecry give your Murlocs divine shield. Yo. Okay. So there's already a card in the game. There's a Murloc pattern deck where you go. Where you play 4 mana for Smack Lens, and then you play 8 mana to play all the mechs on board, all the Murlocs on board, and then you could play Scale Lord on that afterwards. That would be insane. If there's a Murloc Paladin deck, this is definitely in the deck, right? It's like Megasaur. You always hit Divine Shield. I mean, definitely. 5 mana, 5, 6 as well isn't a bad stat line. Also a Dragon for the Dragon Tag. Currently, there aren't many Murlocs in the game, but this is insane on Murlocs. Okay, next up, yeah, probably a Battlegrounds card as well. Next, Sky General Crag, 4 mana, 2 3 taunt, Battle Cry. If you play the quest this game, summon a 4 2 pat with Rush. So, this goes in any quest deck that that needs, like, that isn't like Priest. Priest has Resurrect stuff, right? You probably want to play this deck. Straight in Quest Center, for instance. Really powerful in Quest Center, with, especially with the Rush and the multiple bodies. Like, would it go in Quest Druid? It's a decent turn 5 for Quest Druid. I mean, it's a very good turn 5 for Quest Druid if they haven't completed the quest yet, right? It's probably good enough for Quest Druid. I mean, it's a 2 3 that deals 4. Like, it's just a good card. Just jam this in your quest decks. It's better quest jammer as well, very good than that. Next up, Aeon Reaver. 6 mana 4 4 battle cry, deal damage. This is just the worst flick card we saw before. Deal damage to a minute equal to its attack. Yeah, so it, it's 6 mana 4 4 that kills a minion. It's like um, Vast Blind Slayer, basically. Budget flick. I mean, it's a decent card still. It's light bomb one minion, yeah. It's like it's a bit expensive though. Priest already has good removal. Priest trip. Here's the rottenest Drake that we flashed over a little bit earlier. Uh five mana six five battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, destroy a random enemy minion. Okay. This card seems pretty decent. If you're holding a dragon, see this goes straight in the dragon highlander hunter, maybe other dragon hunter decks. You can manipulate the enemy board really easily in Hunter with Desert Spear to, to make sure you snipe the small minions away. And then you can hit the big minion. One card that is in the meta a lot right now is Shield of Galakond, which they can maybe hide their small minions behind and then this gets a bit flippy. But if they don't have a taunt, right, you can often manipulate the board quite a lot. And this may, this is going to make Dragon Hunter a lot better. This card seems very powerful if you... like. If you can play enough dragons. We, we, we got overhyped before with the cards that said if you hold a dragon and they weren't good. Because most dragons in the game suck. I'm a little worried we might get baited by this card too. Because you won't be holding a dragon enough. And I think it might be like if you're not holding a dragon this card is trash. And I don't know if you're going to be holding a dragon often enough. I'm a little worried about that. But it is a dragon itself. Which is nice for the dragon cards overall. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. It's also countered by the new Battlecry Lotheb. Yeah, that's true too. Next up we have Explosive Evolution and Skyverteer. Explosive Evolution 2 mana transform minion into a random one that costs 3 more. 2 mana for plus 3 on a minion. Ooh. So you can turn your 5 drops into 8 drops. Oh, you can play this in a frog deck, right? So you play your frog on turn 3, turn 4 you play a 1 mana spell, and then turn 2 you turn your frog into a 5 drop. Like, so like, 3 mana for the frog on turn 3, 4 mana your frog becomes a 5 drop, right? With Zentimo as well, this seems very powerful. I mean, you can play this right now in standard, right? Oh, six drop, sorry. Yep, six drop. I'm a moron. Three plus three is six. Wow, this card's insane! Your frog becomes a six drop! That's much better than a five drop. Damn, a six drop, that's nutty. This card seems strong in frog decks. Okay, next. It's not a target spell? I I Wait, is it not a target spell? I presume it is. 
Otherwise, it'll say transform a random minion. I presume it's targeted. Next up, Skyvateer. Two mana, stealth, death rattle, draw a card, 1 3 pirate. Two mana, 1 3 pirate, draw a card. Seems strong to me, right? I mean, this card's in Rogue. Turn two is Dagger in Rogue, yes. But you could play this in a, if you're playing this in a pirate deck, this card's, that one attack is so weak on minions. I mean, guess I'll draw a card is nice. Like, if you're playing a, a deck that plays Necrium Blade, then, then this goes well, with the, well in that deck in terms of the curve, right? You need to have two drops. I mean, it's a decent two drop if you're going to be value trading in the early game, right? Having stealth means you can set up cold blood stuff potentially. You can curve Sassy Captain to make it a 2 4. Whoa, and they can't do anything about it. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's decent stats for a draw card on two mana. Next up, Fiendish Servant. 1 mana, 2, 1, Death Rattle. Okay, this means attack to a random friendly minion. Ah. So this can give you, like, your egg, 2 attack. You can make a 2, 2 egg. Play it in Zoo. It's a demon. Sack packed a thing. Um, often giving attack isn't that relevant. But it is on eggs. But a 2, 1 for 1 mana is really bad stat line. I don't think this card works. It's like a bad abusive sergeant because it's like death row. You don't get to choose which minion it gets the attack on. Your opponent can just trade this minion, trade the other minion that gets buffed. It seems bad to me. Next we have Winged Guardian and Dark Prophecy. So the Winged Guardian, spoiled a little earlier, was Taunt Reborn. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. 7 mana 6, 8. So this buff to Pharaoh Cat, notably right now. And seems pretty OP against stuff like you're gonna have to punch through this and it's gonna take nine minion damage that's a lot of minion damage to punch through like, it seems like quite a powerful taunt here yeah next up dark prophecy discover a two cost minion summon it and give it plus three health plus three health on a two cost minion can end up making a big minion for like combo priest yeah, this could get flicked, the Wing Guardian. Like, Combo Priest could use this, maybe, to get a buff minion to Divine Spirit Inner Fire, potentially. If you high roll, you can hit Injured Tolvir. That would be insane. Or Millhouse Mana Storm. I don't think the card's saving Priest, though, from its current position of trash. I don't think the card is as terrible as people might, might say it is. Yeah. Wing Guardian, definitely a strong card, though. Not quite sure how it's fitting into Druid. Maybe just playing Quest Druid, even? I'm not sure. Next up, we have Animated Avalanche. 7 mana, 7 6. Looks like a mage card. Battlecry, if you played an Elemental last turn, summon a copy of this? Two 7 6s for 7 mana? That's a lot of stats. It does get flicked. But it is 14 attack. Elemental Mage. We already saw the 3 mana 2 for Elemental. You can play on 5 with Elemental Evocation, which would be insane. It does seem powerful with Evocation. Again, another Battlecry card, which yeah, is bad against the Lothab Battlecry guy. But this seems very powerful on a potential Elemental Mage deck. Like, there's enough elementals now to make your elemental evocation good. Imagine playing this on the 5 and you can play it on turn 2. I mean, feasibly, yes. Turn 2, innovate, innovate, coin this. After you play your 1 mana elemental. If, there's a lot of good elementals pr pr printed recently. There's also the elemental side quest. There might be something here with elemental mage coming up. I'm not sure when any of these cards are out exactly, which wing. But that looks good. Skydiving Instructor. Battlecry, summon a one cost minion from your deck. 3 mana 2 2. This automatically makes me think of uh, 
of 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 the desert camel previously, which some of the Wonka's been in for both players. Hmm. Someone a one cost minion from your deck. If there's a potential, if there's battle cry one one mana minions with negative effects, he's pretty powerful, right? Hit someone's albatross out of your deck. It thins your deck. Two mana two two, draw a card and play it. Like two mana two two, draw a card and play it. Like if you need to thin your deck, you could play this as a card draw card potentially. It's, I don't think it's amazing or anything, but potential. And I saw, I see Fury Hunter, you can see which one in the article. Yeah, I, I, um, the, I don't know. I'm just gonna, oh, we, we missed all that, whatever. I'm just gonna go through the cards. Okay, here's the Reno. The amazing Reno. Make all minions disappear, poof. So by disappear, according to the devs, it means that the cards were like, never played. They don't get resurrected by quest priests. Basically, they don't get replayed by Shudderwalk. Apparently, they're just never played if they if they disappear. It removes them from existence, and then the passive hero power at the start of your turn cast a random spell. Mm. Not so much a fan of this passive. The main battle cry is pretty decent. If it's needed, a board, big board removal. You can play this in um in Reno Mage, but I'm not sure. That was confirmed fake, or was it Blitz? Or Blitz, Blitz or maybe maybe the Shadok thing. I I'm not sure about. Okay, but I mean it's a strong, clear. It's a strong clear effect. The bow and this and yeah, whatever. We'll move on. Next up, Steel Beetle. Two mana, two three. If you're holding a spell that costs five or more, gain five armor. The druid, yo, two mana. That's a lot of health. If there's like the face hunters currently a deck in the meta game, like this just ends them. That's a lot of armor. Like holy wrath powered and again another deck which like weak to armor gain strategies. This is a l at what point? How much armor does this card have to gain for it to be good, right? Like, this can stall out games. Obviously there was play of which healed for 3 armor, which saw, like, not really any play, but healing for 5 armor is a lot. The card seems okay, like... We're back to the start now, is that all the cards? Yeah, that's all the cards, I think. 